Reverend Richard Fothergill says his building society closed his account last month after he'd given feedback, urging them to concentrate on banking and not their efforts to support Pride Month. Are banks there to do social engineering? Surely banks are there just to manage money. In Britain, we have a long history of freedom of expression, freedom of views, freedom of religion, freedom of association. And actually, we need to start talking about that and we need to defend that. And I, I would say we, we need to rise up, the majority of us need to rise up and say, no, we're not going to have a new authoritarianism, even if it's coming from a, uh, a, a fashionable angle, telling us what we must or think or what we must not think. Most organisations have inclusivity policies designed to improve what they do and how they do it. But we understand the Treasury will go further and make banks and building societies give customers three months' notice of account closures, as well as providing them with full explanations of the reasons why. The Financial Conduct Authority say banks can make these decisions, but have to be fair. You're not able to discriminate on the basis of protected characteristics. You're not able to discriminate on the basis of political views either.